Hi everybody, we're back. We're back. We're back. And this week we are going to be talking about tension. So there's not going to be a pattern or anything that you can download from our website this week. But then again, there's loads of stuff on our blog anyway that you can download and other videos to watch. But um, a while back we did get a very interesting question or a question that we thought was pretty good. Somebody was asking because they were seeing us knitting the Norwegian way and they were asking how do you control the tension? And we thought, ooh, that's a really good question and that is something that we definitely can show you if you knit the Norwegian way, how to control the tension because the good thing about knitting the way we do here in Scandinavia is that we usually get very nice and even stitches and we don't even have to think about it. It's not like we're pulling the yarn up and holding it and controlling and thinking all the time about this. We're just doing it nice and easy and it just, comes out. Just hold the yarn the way you hold it and if it's too tight you change the needle. Exactly. And if it's too loose you go down the needle. Yeah, we'll get back to that in a second. Yeah. Then I will show you tension with one color. So you put the yarn over your index finger and you block the yarn with the middle finger, finger yeah. middle, middle finger. finger, like this. Just block it like this and then you hold on to the yarn with the middle finger. Then you keep your finger down behind the knitting like this. So it looks like this from the other side. And then when you knit, you just pick the yarn from the finger and slide it off like this. And sometimes you need to use the other index finger to put the needle down like this. Just pick the yarn from the finger and the yarn is always on this side. So the way you hold your yarn is actually your tension. Exactly. So if, if you hold tight to, to the yarn, you might be a very tight knitter or if you're loose, you're a loose knitter. But you don't have to control this yes. that much. You can just change the needle. What we usually say is, because a lot, we know that a lot of people are very reluctant to change the needle size that is on a written pattern. Well, the way we look at it is like this. It's not a law, it's not written in stone. A pattern is just a guideline. And when you're a loose knitter, or if you're a tight knitter, it's actually more difficult to change yourself. Why change yourself when you can change the tool? It's much more easier. So knit the way you do, try this way. If you figure that you're a knitter that knits very tight, doing our technique, then just change the needle size. It's so much easier. You don't have to think about the tension because the distance of the yarn to the needle is so short. There's actually no distance. It's just, you just pick it up directly from the finger. Exactly. Like this. And you always hold it like that. When you knit, the stitch should not look like, like this then it's a loose knit or too tight. It should be just around the needle. The needles, needles are made this way. Mm. For, so the yarn is supposed to go around it nicely, not loose or not tight. So considering all the things that you have to take into account when you're doing your projects, if you do it this way, there's one thing less to think about. It's much easier. You want to see it one more time? Okay, let's see it one more time. Put the yarn over your index finger and hold it with your middle finger. And then you just pick up the yarn directly from the finger and slide it off. And don't think too much about how you hold it. You just hold it. That's the tension. So, hopefully you've understood a little bit more about knitting 
the Norwegian way and how to tension the yarn and how not to think about the fact that you're tensioning the yarn. Uh, we will be back uh, soon again with some more fun tutorials. In the meantime, because there's no tutorial this week, there's still at least 50 tutorials uh, on our website, on our blog, and loads of other videos for you to enjoy different kinds of projects. You can practice your Norwegian knitting. And then practice your Norwegian knitting, okay. and then next time we'll go through some other techniques that we have. So uh, remember, don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you like what you see. And uh, we wish you a great week and happy knitting. Bye.